All right, hey guys, it's me. So today I'm going to be doing another alternate play styles. Uh, today we have the Beggar's Bazooka, the Man Treads, and the Pain Train. This is by far the most interesting loadout I got on random on a random loadout website. So, oh wow, we already wiped them because there are like no players on either team. So stats while I while we have some downtime with the Beggar's Bazooka, you can hold fire to load up to three rockets and release fire to unleash them. Uh, but they will have a slightly smaller explosion radius, 3 degrees random projectile deviation, that's a spy, maybe not. And overloading the chamber will cause a misfire, nor can you get ammo from dispensers. One of my main detractions, I suppose, from this gun is that it's really, really hard for me to counter pyres with it. Which you'd think would be easier, because you can just spam at them. And that is true. However, my usual method for countering pyros involves pinpoint timing. Like, I need to wait for them to air blast, and I can't really do that when I'm being forced to uh, be constantly firing of sorts. The man treads will reduce the push force taken from damage by 75% and will deal three times falling damage to the player you land on. I highly doubt I'm going to get a man treads kill, but oh well. And the pain train finally will give you plus one capture rate. Uh, so if I'm capturing rather than x1 it'll be x2 like a scout and i'll take 10 percent more damage from bullets this weapon I, I really i don't think it's useful in soldier because i die enough to scouts and i'm almost never on the point especially in pubs so it's not worth it for me the beggars i never learned how to properly play it it's supposed to be overpowered i think i, I don't even know but it's supposed to be really strong at the very least when you know how to play with it, but I don't, so. I mean, I suppose at the least I'm killing things, but mantrides, however, are like useless if you're not shouldering. So, but at least the game filled up, that's nice. So hopefully I'll get a longer game to play this. Mm -hmm. See, like, the thing for me is this weapon's so slow, I can't play it properly. Yeah, like, and that ri little tiny bit of projectile deviation messes with me, too. Hopefully I can get that medic, yes. Yeah. It's, like, it's awkward for me to use because it plays so differently from the stock rocket launcher. Not even the direct hit is as off-putting as this thing is for me. So... It's just a really awkward weapon to play, in my opinion, but for those that have actually gotten good with this thing, I I just can't even imagine it, because I can't get used to the gun. That's probably got more to do with the fact that I've got so much time using the stock than the original, though. Just spam, try and at least get some damage. There's Pyro here. Take him out. That's one thing I'll do with the weapon on the off chance I actually play it, is I'll kind of like, just click rapidly to get like a stream of rockets going rather than bursts. Sometimes it'll allow me to do better, but it's not really consistent, at least not as much as I'd like it to be. Ah, uh, there's a scout getting behind us. And I can't rocket jump with this thing under any circumstances. But that's one thing you can do is you can overload jump to get I don't know actually how it compares to a regular crouch jump if it's stronger because the rocket's closer to you, but then again it does so much damage that it's like I just got destroyed by those scouts. So I'm probably not going to be doing that very much. If I could respawn that'd be nice. Bad. I feel really slow right now. That's the main downside to this weapon, in my opinion, is how slow I feel with it. And how slow I have to ow pipes. I'm just gonna scout, go away. Um again, escape planner market gardener, and I never have them. Alright. 
I'm getting caught on the teleport because I'm an idiot. There's a sniper up there. I don't want to fight him. Especially because I can't really bomb him. Scout. Scout, please be stupid. Ah, nope, he's not dumb. He can aim somewhat. At least he died. That's nice. Anyway. Alright, so let's respawn here, please. Game. But I'm playing really slowly. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. I embarrassed myself enough with that. I'm done. I'm done trying to beggar's jump. I'll never figure it out. And that med is, med's like mocking me like... Oh my god, this scout. He's just gonna die in that sentry. Or he's not. Sniper, I don't want to die to him. There's a spy back there, I think. I could have sworn I saw one. Yep, there he is. The sniper got him. Ow. Yeah, that's a lot more consistent for me rather than trying to overload jump. Something tells me nobody's going to be up there, but... Oh! Mm, mm, mm. Go away. Go away. Pyro, pyro, remove. Go away. Alright, where's that gun? Oh, that random crap is fair. I probably would not have lived nearly that long without that random crit, but oh well. Oh, this is a really slow game. And I'm not even going to get to show off the pain train because I'm not on offense, but you know what? Something tells me I wasn't really going to do that anyway. And I still can't make that jump. I don't know what I think is going to change, but clearly I thought something was going to change. Just spammed up. Oh, I thought that was an enemy scout. I was going to have a panic attack. Oh, mm, mm, might as well have been. Bloody flare gun. This video feels like it's just respawn time. Like, I'm hardly actually playing. I'm just respawn- dying, respawning, maybe sometimes killing people. But... Oh, no, it feels like this video's been- oh, There is no way I can get in here. Go away! You are such a pest. Go away. Remote, go away! Might as well try and spam take somebody out, but stupid pyro had to hit a flare. Which, by the way, when the pyro update comes out, I might do coverage on it, simply because this used to be a pyro channel, and I, I want to see what I think of it. So, I'll probably post some videos for it. But I don't know how much to expect, what changes to expect, new weapons, etc. So... I don't know, I can't tell you guys how many videos, or if there will be videos, if I'm being honest, but hopefully there will be material, so. Even though I'm not a pyromane anymore, I still would like to put my thoughts out there as a former pyromane. Take that pyro out, miss the scout horribly. Get off me, nope. I don't really understand how I'm killing much of anything. I feel like I'm playing like garbage, but... 
Apparently, I'm doing well enough to be top three, so I don't know. But yeah, we're definitely only doing this round. Ten minutes and counting, they might still make this longer than, than remaining ten minutes, because... Oh, that guy that thinks re levels mean literally anything? Oh, that's cute. Die, die Pyro, please. You know, normally I would feel like I could have done something with that cri with that crits pop, but mm. then again, I'm using garbage loadout, so literally garbage loadout. off because I am dying. Thank you, medic. Oh, that's an Uber. Oh, run away. Run away. Run away. Get away from that. Oh, medic. Medic. No. Stay off him. Off of him. I can't air shot. Then again, I'm using a beggar, so I have an excuse. That it is definitely possible to air shot with this weapon. I been air shot with it multiple times and I will probably be air shot with it again in the future so and there are definitely people who can pull it off consistently I don't know who thinks you can but yeah I think if we pull this off then I'll be done so because I really don't want to make this video take forever when I don't have anything else to say so I'll be done after this round. Random crit, gonna hit something, but not kill anything. That guy actually knows what he's doing with the beggars. Maybe I should've gotten him to do this video now. Just playing way too aggressively. But yeah, I don't honestly know how I'm doing. Oh, yeah, look, look. Looks like they're actually going to extend this because we pushed way too far ahead, myself included. All right, spoke too soon. They had like an X3 in that cart, though. I, If it was that medic that stopped him, I got to give him a lot of credit, but I don't think it was. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Actually, first, um, final thoughts. Beggar's Bazooka, I don't honestly know what to make of this weapon. I know it's definitely capable of being very powerful in the right hands, but I simply am not able to use it and never will be able to use it. And I'm probably one of the last people you want to give an opinion on this. Mantreads designed to be good for taking out Force of Nature, Sentry, Pyro, but it's really not. It wouldn't even work against Pyro, actually. His air blast isn't damaged, but... And Pain Train, really not useful in Soldier. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.